to another vlog. Today we are going to a place called Haydar Aliyev Center which is basically this beautiful building that is dedicated to not the current president but the president before um, and his name was Haydar Aliyev and we're gonna check it out today it's honestly one of the most beautiful buildings ever and apparently if I'm not mistaken it's designed in the form of his signature i believe i have never been here before it's my first time i'm sure it's gonna be really nice um the place here is really beautiful i'm gonna show you guys so let me flip the camera so you guys can see so this massive park right like surrounded around the building so we're just gonna walk around there first before we head inside um, and it's so beautiful like everyone just sits outside you can have like little picnics with your friends they're just chilling it's so pretty and these there's these gorgeous stairs that you have to take to go all the way up because it is a little bit higher up than where we are oh there's even escalators if you don't want to take the stairs I wish I could show you guys the other side. I don't know if I will be able to, but we'll see. Cause there's so much more to it. This is really beautiful. Here you can see a better view of the park. It's so beautiful. There's like layers to it. We haven't even gone in yet and I can't <laughs> stop spending time out here. That's a different uh, convention center. I don't know what it is. I think it's one for like concerts maybe, but I'm not exactly sure. As always, we just spend like an hour outside just taking photos and videos and some TikToks. So now we're gonna head in. I don't know where the entrance is. So I think it's right here. I don't know, let's see. Such a beautiful day today. Just entered the building and it's so cool already. There's so many levels. I don't really know where we're going first because there's so much to do, but that's the cafe and let's keep going. There's a photo of the president. That's hey that on you. Rest in peace. Oh my god, my cousin's like, there's my nose. <laughs> So right over here, they've displayed all of the popular like main landmarks in Baku. So the flame towers, this one's called the Maiden Tower. It has like the airport, that's the Haydar Aliyev Center, which we are currently in. There's some mosques, it's so cool, like stadiums. And then they have an iPad that tells you the description. So let's click English. And it tells you here the concert complex of Baku. So this one's a really old one from the 1960s. This is the Four Seasons. I've seen all of these actually, but it's so cool to see them in like a miniature form. This one is the Carpet Museum. I actually really want to check this out. And it's literally shaped in the form of a carpet. So I think Azerbaijan loves to do the whole literal meaning so the carpet museum and like the signature and the flame towers it's so cool what's this one the wind completely destroyed my hair but anyways this one's really cool too it's called baku crystal hall and this is where your vision was once held actually and i believe now it's a stadium right i believe it's a stadium where they just had a game there a couple days ago yeah sports concert complex so just two days ago it was galatasaray versus karabakh FC, so 
my cousin's calling me over to show me something so let's see what we're gonna look at what is this one this one's a mosque i believe and never mind she's just showing me the pictures that people took on the ipad but <laughs> that is usually important this one's one of my favorites we're checking out all the traditional and like ancient um musical instruments it's so cool i'm gonna show you guys this one that i really like I'm gonna give you guys a really cool fun fact. I actually don't know too much about Azerbaijan history because I didn't learn about it. My cousin grew up here, so she knows a ton. And she just told me that this really cool rock, from, it's called Azerbaijan Gurbistan culture. And it's apparently where the first like Azerbaijani people were found in that, I guess, um, like zone, which is so cool. And you can see in this video, that they use those two stones to make music with it. It's so cool. Please do not touch. <laughs> but yeah, this is amazing. I don't know if you guys can hear me because there's music playing, but this music is actually played with a very traditional instrument in Azerbaijan called Kamancha. I say that right, I hope. Um, and you're gonna, you can press one of these and change the song. So let's do. It's so beautiful. Don't really get shaped there. We definitely left the house way too late because we only have an hour to finish the museum and we're only on the second level. The section is called the Kukla Inja Senet. All like the famous dolls um, from stories, plays, theater history it's so cool i'll take a video of like the description so you guys can read it this one's really cool well some of them are actually famous people and some of them are from stories from plays ancient like novels so cool So Azerbaijan is very well known for its carpets and these are all handmade carpets. Look at the detail on all of this. I love it. There's a story on every single one and they're all handmade. The ancient art in a new breath. See here. This is so cool. We're taking a little break because we left the house really late, we didn't really eat much, and we slept late and woke up late, so <laughs> we're kind of tired, but we're taking a little break. So a couple days ago, we went to this city called Shaki, and we did a tour in one of the old sarais, which is like a palace, um, and it was really cool, so beautiful, and now they also have like the museum, like photograph version of it. And it's like all over the walls as if you're actually in the sarai, but we were really there. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> and they're showing it on the screen too. But yeah, that's literally what the rooms look like. If I have some videos, I'll insert them. But oh no, there was no photos and pictures. No videos and photos allowed when we were there. So, so cool because it's right up on the screen and we were just there. Oh, how pretty. Okay, now we've entered the level where you can learn about Azerbaijan's history. And to be honest, I don't know too much about it. I didn't learn it in school, but my cousin grew up here, so she knows a lot about the history. So she's kind of my tour guide while we go through this. Okay, this is definitely my favorite part of the museum. So um, they have all these instruments and when you step on the carpet, it plays the instrument. So I'm gonna go on Come on, chop. I'm gonna 
show you guys something really cool they also have a really really old Quran here from the 18th century how old it is guys wow and then we have the holy bible over here 19th century and it's actually written in arabic how cool is that i love this this is all so cool i love museums i love history i think we're now on the last level of the museum so this was all the history of azerbaijan and i, I think this was my probably my favorite one because i love history and it was really cool to check some of these things out So we finished the whole museum. There's actually another part, which is the really cool old cars, which we didn't buy tickets for because we don't have time, but we're pretty much done now. I'm gonna show you guys like the lounge area where they have like, trying to get drinks or something. It's really pretty here. It actually kind of reminds me of my university lounge. Okay, I mean, this looks way better than my university lounge, but we had like a very similar concept with like the glass building. If you know, you know, if you went to Ryerson and you know the student learning center, then you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like when the sun's hitting with the glass, but it's really pretty. So we just finished at the museum. It was absolutely amazing. I do want to come back though, because I didn't have time to read everything. So we were in a little bit of a rush and it closed at seven.